sending you, it didn't have to be this way. You brought it all on yourselves. Remember that. You're being transferred to another correctional facility for a spell of attitude adjustment. It's not any play park like this place is. Nobody there cares who shot John. The warden there, not a soft heart like I am. He's gonna teach you to pray, to wash behind your ears, and to open doors for old ladies. You understand that, Mr. Cullen Monroe? Are you the boss man, Captain? You the king of the mountain. You give and you take away. I promise you one thing, Mr. Monroe. When you get back here, you're going to be walking on your knees and saying, sir, to fire hydrants. You're not going to chain me to a nigger. Trash is trash, boy. Trash don't have no color. <laughs> Yeah, 
Carpenter over the farm? Yes, yeah, Sheriff. He's already here and he's on his way. He's already here. Well, it's not too bad, Floyd. Garden driver took a knock on the head when the truck rolled over. State boys took him to the hospital. What about my convicts? Well, oh, they're all right. All four of them just a little shook up, that's all. Four? What about the other two? The other two. Well, there were six of them when they left the farm. All we found is four, two blacks and two whites. Another black and white chained together? No. You better get a posse together, Leroy. They're out there somewhere, and they hate each other. Now, I'll be back. Don't you leave without me. Hey, Floyd, uh... What were these convicts of yours doing out here in this truck in the middle of the night? Work, gang. Uh, there's a culvert up there blocked up, and we, uh, we're afraid the road is going to flood. How come alert didn't come through my department? And how come there weren't any picks and shovels in that truck, were there? And how could they swing those picks and shovels with chains on them? Come on, Floyd. All right. The real story is that I've got this acquaintance. His, his name's not important, but he's in another correctional facility. And we have this uh, arrangement. Uh, I do him a favor, and he does for me. If I have troublemakers, I kick them on over to him, and he, uh, <laughs> he gives them a little reconditioning. You know what I mean? Yeah. Look, Leroy, nobody's going to mess a couple of bad apples out of a whole barrel. Now, these guys are dangerous, real dangerous. If we don't catch them, there's going to be a lot of questions asked of me and you. Well, Floyd, I'm going to see if they're locked up OK. It's safely locked up. You can depend on them. Fred, yo. Go back to the office and put out an APV, then call up that sheriff of Johnson County, ask him if he can loan us one of his choppers. Call up Dogman, too, ask him to whistle up his hounds. Then scare up our off-duty deputies and uh, break out those M16s and Browning automatics. You got it. We 
got us a bad problem here, boy. We got us a whole bunch of bum. I'm counting, Joker. <laughs> Which one do you think is the biggest? Biggest one, hands down, is where you come off calling me boy. Oh. We both in the same boat. I'm afraid you're gonna let your mouth pick up on your butt and hole, and this boat gonna sink. That might not be so bad. Taking you down with me. You try taking me down with you. I promise you a whole mess of misery and hurt for you here, Gabriel's horn. Now come on. Don't give me orders. I said, come on, man, you're drinking on this chick. Don't give me orders, boy. And I'm telling you, next time I hear you call, boy, there better be one around. I know we gotta keep moving. I just don't need you telling me. Special assignment. The APB covers the whole herd. All right. I have one of the units work the gullies and back roads between here and Fallen Rock. And give me a roadblock there at the interstate. You got it. Howdy, Sheriff. Sergeant Randall, Johnson County. Hey, Sergeant. How good are you flying low? Hell, anything over six feet, we get a nosebleed. There you go. Three channels red, blue, and white. Stay on the white. The only way you can't reach us is when we're refueling in Lake City. These are smoke grenades to mark our landing areas. Is there any chance we're going to draw any ground fire? Well, they're not armed, at least not yet anyways. Let's get started. Sheriff, did you call for the cavalry? Brought you some help, Leroy. My cup runneth over. And these boys know the county better than anybody. Yeah, well, these boys can go home because I'm not deputizing. <laughs> We're only trying to help, Leroy. This is my county, and I can do my job without any help from your volunteers. Laura tells us one of these convicts is black. In my county, a convict's a convict. Hey, Fred. Hey. You got a minute to walk these gentlemen back to their car? I'm sure I can find time. Tell them if they're not gone exactly two minutes, you're taking them in and booking them. Charges interfering with the office of the law and the performance of their duty. Does, does that mean that I'm not on the posse either, Leroy? You know, you got the wrong attitude, Floyd. You're the stone in my shoe, and I'm going to take you out before I start walking. Start your clock. Well, fellas, I think you heard the sheriff just as clearly as I did. Let's get moving. Dogs on leash until I tell you the same thing. You got it, Sheriff. Okay, let's do it. Let's go. Come on. Come on here,
How much head start do you figure they got on us? Ah, uh, six hours, give or take an hour. Got a lot of catching up to do. Maybe not as much as sounds they're out running on a fast track into this country. It's crisscrossed with streams and bogs and swamps. There's vines and brush in here. Couldn't cut through in a month of Sundays. Now, I figure the thing that's going to slow them down more than anything else is hate. What's that again? I was told these prisoners hate each other. Hate will slow you down. Who are you telling? This dumb, and rock don't break a steel chain, not two old men in rocking chairs. We're not likely to run across an acetylene torch out of here. Yeah, but maybe, maybe having a chisel or some hard scrabble farm. Bolt cutters is what we need. Bolt cutters are a hacksaw. <sighs> yeah, maybe you want to go to pay phone to put in your order, huh? What's that? We're likely to have dogs, but it's too early to hear them. Not dogs, I thought I heard a flying chainsaw. A what? Helicopter. Sound travels a long way out here in the country. I wouldn't know. I never lived in the country. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> you one of them that's, that's real glad to know he knows what time the store is open and how to get across the street without getting run over, right? Come on, man, let's go. Ways north, isn't it? Yeah, I said we go south. Look, if the only reason you want to go south is because I want to go north, you better listen to me for a minute. There's a train track runs north of here. How do you know that? I know because I worked out here for a whole year with the state surveyors. Train comes along every day about noon. How long you been in jail? Six years, why? Then how you know that train's still running? I don't. But a might be train is better than a shoe or nothing. Come on. How far is that track? 20 miles, give or take a mile. Noon tomorrow. Yeah. We can't make it. How are we gonna cross 20 miles of the roughest country I've ever seen in 24 hours? I figured 26 or 27 hours. Oh, well, we still can't make it. I can make it. Unless you admit you can't. Maybe you just a big city mouth. Look here, Mason. Look at this map. Now, this is where they jumped off. They had to start running in this general direction. Now, over here is swamp. Over here is swamp. And this is rock cliffs. The only way they can run is straight through here, down the river to the lake. Between here and there is marsh and bog. They'll never get through. Yeah, but this is higher ground. It's less impossible than what surrounds it. Now, all we've got to do is start at this end of the corridor, and work our way back, and that posse is going to run them right into our arms. If this is a wild goose chase, Floyd, then It'll I... work, Mason. Now, I know these boys. I know how they think. You'll have them back before dark. Come on! Nigger. Don't call me nigger! I ain't nobody's nigger!
As far back as I can remember, being told to keep my place. Grew up looking in the mirror, seeing boy, and seeing nigga. And grew up hating what I saw. Nowadays, Joker, when I look in the mirror, all I see is a man. A stand-up man. Well, I'm real happy for you. Now, can we get more? As long as you hear me, Joker, you hear me good. to ask a question like that. A moron. Oh, uh, maybe you want me to call him the doctor. Or maybe you just like to sit here in this shade all afternoon, huh, Joker? I'm just used to better than this, that's all. Well, what could be better than this? I mean, here we are in God's beautiful country. We got birds chirping, we got bees oh, buzzing. shut up. We got fresh air. Shut we... up! <laughs> that's a whole reason people like me live in cities. Clean air makes us sick. But you wouldn't know nothing about cities, would you? Nothing about good living. You all rested up now, Joker? You ready to run again? I'll let you know when I'm ready. When I'm ready.
shame. Come on, man, you're holding on the chain. This ain't gonna work. You wanna wait till they get here? And we just fish in a barrel. Come on, get on my shoulder. Get on my shoulder! Some more slack. Do it. Looking at your hands. It's okay. Hand needs fixing. Don't do me any favors. Thank you. It might sound nice. What do you care if I talk nice to you? Maybe because your daddy and your granddaddy never did, and I'm looking for some improvement in your family line. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, okay? Yeah, thank you for pulling me out. I didn't pull you out. I kept you from pulling me in. Tell me something, Joker. You been mean all your life, or you just woke up with something one morning you couldn't shake like a bad head cold? You don't know a single thing about my life. No, but I just thanked you for pulling me out. You talked to me like I'm nothing. What's eating you, Monroe? 
Why do you care if I talk nice to you? You want me to tell you so you can just chop my head off, ain't that uh, right? Uh, tell me. You started this, now you tell me. All right. All right, I tell you. All my life, I've seen some people treat other people like dirt, black and white. There's something we'd be happy if I could find something decent in you. That's something for somebody like me to be telling somebody like you. And everybody I've ever known, just looking for something decent. Just looking for something decent in somebody else. Looking for something to, something to, be, to, to be talked to decent, to be treated decent like they, they needed to keep on going. What's wrong with being decent? Don't cost nobody nothing. Just looking for something decent. That's all. Some decent I'm looking for. Who is it? Stopped here and tried to break the chain. Well, up to now, they've been running. Just to be running. Yeah, but now they're making a beeline heading north. Must have come to some kind of decision, wouldn't you say? Well, unless they got turned around and confused. Not likely. They were smart enough to make it this far. Yeah, that change of direction is too abrupt. I figured they're headed for here. There's a fish camp here trying to be a town. It's a cafe, a gas station. Boat repair shit. Those boys want that chain off real bad. Boat repair means tools. You got it. Just keep your eye on that camp and the country between it and us. You bet. All right, let's go get it up. Moving out. <laughs> Howdy, ma'am. Howdy. My name's Floyd Carpenter. I'm the warden over at the state prison farm. What do you want? Well, we're looking for two men. I'm only looking for one. <laughs> well, the two men we're looking for escaped convicts. Uh, one of them's black, one of them's white. You haven't seen anything of them, have you? Seen nobody since the power company sent a pole jockey over here to cut me off. That's about 10 days or so ago. Three weeks, Ma. And here's my boy, Clyde. He keeps up with important things, like Washington's birthday and free cheese. You two live out here alone, do you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we have been ever since his daddy ran off with a teenage lady biker. Oh, I'm sorry to hear about that. Not a total loss, though. Because he promised to send me a postcard from Disney World. Come on, Floyd. They can't have got this far yet anyway. Uh, Ma'am, I'm sorry to hear about your troubles, but I got troubles of my own. Uh, 
thank you for your time. Uh, would you like a cup of coffee or maybe just sit a spell? I'm afraid I haven't got time right now. Well, you just come back any time, Morgan. And I'll make you up something real nice. Uh, well, I'll, I'll try. like fresh meat. How far? Far enough for now. Too close for later. You swim? Yeah. As long as water's not over my head. We'll wade in, work our way down, cross over the other side. Never seen a dog yet that could smell our water. They pull together. They're supposed to hate each other. It's easy to hate when you keep your distance. It's a lot harder on the end of a chain. Let's go!
gun. I didn't see any gun. Uh, who figured they had an alarm in an old truck? Man, why is his junk? Figure somebody gonna steal his junk. Uh, can't trust anybody nowadays. <laughs> we almost got killed. You think that's funny? Oh, it's funny, man. It's funny. First time we try to do something together, we almost get wasted. Hey. Not a tracking hound. There's no country dog telling us we gotta keep moving. <sighs> Wait. Pace yourself, man. Pace yourself. No luck, Sheriff. My dogs can't find a scent pass here. It just flat stops right here. I got land through the water. Well, they can wade a ways, but then it gets deep. You think two men can swim chained together? Well, they didn't go upstream. We'll go downstream until the dogs get their scent when they came out. Well, what if they don't come out? They could swim to the lake. It's possible, but not likely. You really think we're going to catch these two, Leroy? Our job is to do the best we can. All I know is they're making better time than I thought they would. Let's go. Time and muck like this, it could sink out of sight. Good idea. Put it out of its misery. Something you don't like about my vehicle? It's a piece of junk. Don't notice you're driving your car. All right, knock it off. We're never gonna find them, Floyd. They could disappear for years in here. All we have to do is keep working our way back that way. They'll run right into us. They could run 10 feet in front of us and we'd never see them. Listen, Mason, I'm a damn good tracker. I'll bet any amount of money I'll have them back in the cage by morning. I'll take that, Ben. And I'll make it easy on you. Say, uh, $100? You got yourself a bet. Ah, wait a minute, wait a minute. How come you combing your hair? You figure you're gonna meet a woman out here or something? Oh, you ought to see me on the street, Monroe. I may only have $10 in my pocket, but I look like I got a million. That's where you look that opens the door. But I wouldn't expect a rag picker like you to understand the importance of being well-groomed and well-dressed. Why don't you crawl back on that rock you came out from under? I bet you never owned a silk shirt in your life, I don't know. You know what class is? Class is having two silk shirts. And they're both the same color. Your class must have really impressed the judge, Joker. He must have been so overcome with your class and your silk shirts that he put you on a prison farm. The same one he put me on. I wonder what time it's getting to be. This is the time of day I'd be dressed enough to go out. Ah. You gotta see my lady, Monroe. She's a TV star. Say that again? I said she's on TV. Sounds linoleum. 
Yeah. Everybody stare at us when we go out at night to a club. Yeah, I bet they do, Joker. What do you mean by that? I'd be staring, too. I really would. I mean, you with your silk shirts and your lady that sells linoleum on TV. Man, that must be really something to look at, something to write home about. So why don't we get the feeling I'm being insulted? Maybe because it's your turn. Now, come on. I told you before, don't give me orders. And I'm sick of you jerking me around like a kid's toy. It's time we got moving, Joker. And another thing, you've been calling me Joker ever since we started out. Just once, why don't you try saying my name, Mr. Johnson, to see if you can pronounce it. Last thing in the world you're going to hear me call you is Mr. Now, come on. Now that Pa's gone? There's even less reason when he was here. Then why don't we leave? Because I want to ride out of here on a man's arm, that's why. Maybe that nice warden fellow will come back. You know, I was thinking he was kind of taken with me. Well, I do. You read that sign, Joker? Must have been right, Floyd. Them boys of yours ain't headed this way. What's he looking for? It's like I told you. We're gonna run them right into our arms. All we gotta do is be a little patient. Deputy Sheriff no wasn't around here? Not that I've seen. Well, does that mean there was or there wasn't? Can't be sure. One of those helicopters been making passes all day long. They looking for somebody? Escaped convicts, two of them. Seen any strangers around, have you? Not that I recall. I've seen you somewhere before. Not unless you've been here before. You sure? Lived here all my life. At least you're sure about something. How about them cabins out there? You got any vacancies? 
Take your pick. All five of them are empty. As long as you don't mind some noise, there's gonna be a party here tonight. All right, uh, we'll take some beers and some of them chips there. We'll sit back, eat a little, drink a little. We're gonna be here yet a while. Use your time any way you like. You got till morning and that's it. You really think I'll show up with people around? Better round of beers, don't we? Getting dark, Sheriff. Heavy winds are predicted. I'm gonna have to say goodbye to you now. I was gonna split my posse, Sergeant. Have you haul some of my deputies up to the fish camp? Sorry, Sheriff. I have to get out while I can. Good luck to you. So it comes down to this. All we can depend on is what they had 100 years ago. Dogs and men. The storm isn't gonna help. seen folks at a party in a long time. Damn them anyway. Why did they have to party tonight? See that? Having your woman hold you like that? Remember how that felt, Joker? Never had a woman was mine. The only woman I ever had belonged to somebody else. Even that TV star I was telling you about wasn't mine. <laughs> she was in love with herself. My wife's name's Luann. Her and our boy off living with our folks while I do the time. Man, now there's a woman. When she pulls me up next to her heart, feel like I died going to heaven. Don't never want to come back to this crazy world. I'm gonna make some man believe that she can't be warm with them unless they're married. The next thing you know, there's nothing left but a pile of ashes. You ever been in love, Joker? I was always too smart to give myself away. Because I'm all I got. You gotta compromise, Joker. You gotta give up something to get something. I never got anything. Not ever. until the cafe closes. What's that? Just an old owl. Got himself a dumb bunny too foolish to come in out the rain. Come in here. Get him, Red. Get him with it. Gonna Get keep him. us going all night, Leroy? They're going all night, so are we. That's supposition on your part. I've done some of my best work on supposition, Fred. Even so, you said that there was no way we could make it through this kind of country chain together. I'm not so sure they're working together better than I ever thought they would. What I can't figure is where the Lord seems to be on their side. We're supposed to be the good guys. Say when. Let's go.
Here. Put the chain over. We'll pull it loose. Yeah, yeah. Nice of you boys to run off like that. All for nothing. Drop the tool, boy. Stand away from the bench. Who are they? They're not the law. We're from the church. We're taking up donations to send poor kids to summer camp. My friend is going to give you a little training on how you're going to keep your mouth shut when you get back. We call it behavioral therapy. Don't leave any bruises. <coughs> what are you doing? Leave him alone. <coughs> you never told me these two was in love. I guess they've grown on each other since I've seen them. I'll tell you when to stop. I said that's enough. Get him up and let's load him out of here. We can't ride him out till the rain stops, Floyd. The road goes back to the swamp. We got two strong backs to push. Not in my vehicle, you ain't. You mean we're stuck here? More time. What do people do around here when it rains? They stay put. I've got to get these men back as soon as possible. You understand that? The rain will stop by daylight. We can move them in. All right. Tie them up. Tight. We'll get some sleep. We'll get them out of here at first light. You fellas, sleep tight. Compared to where you're gonna sleep tomorrow night, this is a genuine five-star hotel. Keep up with a man since when? Since they've been running all day. I gotta give them a break. How far is that fish camp? Three hours, give or take some. Be light by then. All right, let them sit a spell. I want them fresh. Seems funny, we're using dogs to hunt men like they were dogs. And treating dogs better than ourselves.
Why you want to know? Is it a secret? Tried to kill a man. White man I was renting a little 60 acre farm for. What happened? Me and Luann always wanted to own our own place. Hmm. This man said if we uh, get this farm in mint condition, prove our good faith, he was going to sell it to us. So? Never saw Luann so happy. We worked like mules on that place. Got it looking like the best piece of land in the county, too. Till one day he drives up in his fine car and gets out and looks over the place. <laughs> Turn to me and say, you got 10 days to get off my land. Oh. On account it's looking so good, huh? I'm gonna give it to my daughter for a oh. wedding present. Oh. Yeah. Lou and my boy stand there, looking at him, looking at me. I'm trying to remind him that we made us a deal. Mm. He looks at me with this big smile on his face. You know, you got you a smart mouth, nigga boy. Real oh. smart mouth. Oh, that was a mistake. Yeah, I went after him with a two by four. <laughs> I meant to kill him, Joker. Huh. I meant to kill him. All I did was broke him up, though. I bet you broke him up real good, didn't you? Yeah, he gonna have nigga boy on his mind till the day he died. Yeah. <laughs> What about you? Grand Theft Auto. What? I took my 38 and take little man's nose with it. Just to convince him that I needed his car more than he did. <laughs> man, that's nothing. I mean, living the man your car is just neighborly. <laughs> <laughs> Stop raining. Yeah. Yeah. Where would you go if we'd made it, Monroe? Back to Louis? Back to her and my boy. No, you can't go back there. They, f they find you there for sure. Don't matter. That's the way I want to go. It's home. What about you? Where'd you be at? I don't know. I got nowhere to go. see a footpath heading north. Why are you doing this, mister? Don't ask no questions. I asked you why. You setting us up? Answer me! Now run. Run for all you can. Lord will be waking up sooner than I know him. He always wakes up mean. Thank you. and walked out of here. Is that what you expect me to believe? We shouldn't have left them alone. I'll take care of this. I was asleep. Yeah? 
I was walking on moonbeams. Your cabin is not 50 feet away from here. Are you telling me you didn't see or hear nothing? Maybe his dog heard. You hear anything, dog? Huh? <laughs> Maybe this dog don't hear. You think he could hear a shotgun shoot his brains out? Let the dog be. Can your dog hear me count to three? <laughs> One. <laughs> Two. This is a new kind of game. I sure would like to know the rules. Leroy, we, we, we had him captured. We had him tied up right in there. And he cut him loose. Come here, look. <laughs> school, Floyd, you couldn't do anything right. That should guarantee a gold star in state politics. Fred, bring those dogs in. Dog man! You tied him up, are they still chained together? Well, of course. Not only that, we cut all the power to the saws and the drills, and we took the bolt cutters. They're still chained together. Oh, Willie, hunt them up, hunt them up. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. We got him now. We got him now. Come on. Come on now. Work it now. Work it. Get it off. They're long gone by now. Leroy, there's a railroad track not five miles from here. Freight train comes through at noon every day. I'll lay anything. That's where they're headed. Should we call in the chopper? Notify the railroad? No. Are you crazy? You're gonna let them escape. They won't escape. But I'm gonna catch them my way. Come on, Floyd, I'll teach you how to run for a train. There, I'm gonna kill you. You won't have to. If it ain't there, I'm gonna die of a broken heart. Hold it right there. How you doing, boy? I know who you are. The man told me and Ma who you are. You live around here with your Ma, do you? Is there a reward for you? No. No, no. We're just worthless. They're glad to get shit us. Then why was they looking for you? Well... Ah! Get hey! the gun! Hey! Get away from me! Get this dirty hands off of me! Don't let him put his hands on me again, mister. You live far from here? No. Who's home besides you? Ma. Just me and Ma. That all? Yeah. Call her off. You got something home break this chain? I'm talking to you, boy. Oh. Why don't we find out? Lead the way. Who are you? We don't mean you any harm, man. Let go of the boy. They're the ones. They're the ones they're looking for. We're just looking for something to break this chain. My boy Clyde here, he's real good at keeping meat on the table. He goes out with that single shot, 22, and he comes home with possums, rabbits, squirrels. Last week, two ducks. This is the first time he ever come home with two jailbirds. If you don't want to be helpful to us, you say it right now. You look hungry. 
Got some uh, stew in there. Some of yesterday's biscuits. They'll turn into doorstops they aren't eating soon. That'll be fine. We want to break this first. How long you been chained to him? Too long. Yeah, well, I think I can help you. Come on, follow me over here. Just lay your hands down on this chopping block. Stretch the chain tight. Well? Take a chance, man. I'm taking a big chance. Don't you have anything else? Got a Bible in the house if you want to pray. Joker, this goes against everything my daddy ever taught me. Everything. I've been so happy to be free of anything in my whole life. <laughs> Dogs need water, Leroy. All right, rest them. Headed right for the train, just like I knew they would. I never thought they'd get this far. You sound like you admire them. Maybe I do, a little. Well, why don't you just come by the prison yard sometime and shake them by the hand? I might just do that. Especially since you won't be around anymore. Now, well, let's go! All right, now. Let's work. Get him, Come on, boy. Get him, Sit down. Lady, we gotta get on. And Rose says there's a train that runs close by here, is that right? Yeah, that's right. About a mile down the river. Comes along every day about an hour or so from now. You got time to eat. There's some spice mats, too, that'll put hair on your chest. What about him? What about him? Feed him. I've never had one of them at my table before. Well, this is our first time for everything. Now feed him. Sit down, Monroe. Sit down and eat. your name, honey? Johnson. Johnny Johnson. My first name is Pauline. Yeah. My behind name don't matter. So I guess you've been around. How could you tell? I don't know. I guess a man who's been around just can't hide it. <laughs> he's got a... Well, he's got a sort of... I think the word the lady's looking for is class, Joker. If I'm looking for something, I don't need you to help me find it. I was talking to Mr. Johnson. <laughs> you hear that, Monroe? Mr. I can offer you something a whole lot better than that train. I got me a car out there in the shed. What kind of car? Kind with four wheels that won't run. Let me see it. Hey. 
Hey, after you finish eating, wouldn't hurt my feelings none if you got lost. It looks like the inside of a vacuum cleaner bag. Don't you know a car's got to breathe just like people? Get in and see if it'll start. Why can't you just answer me? Are you running to a woman? No, no. Would you get in and see if it'll start? You said you had a car. I said that... that I had a car. Me and the kid go with it. There won't be enough room for him. Look, you don't understand. You see, me Are and Ro, we would. say that he means more to you than me? Well, no, I'm not saying that. Well, then don't make it sound that way, honey. You and me, we're the same people. Don't you see? Don't you see that what I'm offering you is your own? You won't be making any mistake with me. You've never been taken care of like what I can do. Where would we go? I got a sister in Kansas City. She's been wanting me to move there. She's got her own catering business. I'll get her to give you a good paying job. And you can have your own new car to drive. And you can dress up every day like, like a Sunday morning Baptist. What would I tell him though? What are you worried about him for? You're not chained to him anymore. Yeah. How come you're worried about me, Joker? I guess this is where we say goodbye, Monroe. Blow me a kiss then, man. When you get to where you're going, sing me a song for old time's sake. I don't know any songs you'd recognize. Yeah, you do, Joker. Yeah, you do. What's the closest way to get that train? Follow that river. Downstream. You get you some cattails, heavy stand. When you break through the cattails, there'll be a pool of standing water. You go right. Cut cross country through the swamp. It's about a mile.
pack every rag you got. I can hear the dogs. Don't worry about it. We're almost ready here. Clyde, come on, get in the car. Hurry up. Besides, the law's gonna think you two died together. What do you mean, die together? He's never gonna see that train. That's the worst swamp in this whole country. What are you saying? What are you saying? Them pasta dogs is gonna sniff him right up to a sump hole. Quicksand. Okay. And the law's gonna think that you died together in the muck and the mire. They're never gonna dream about you going off to Kansas City. You They're never gonna look for you again. They're gonna ever look for you again. What have you done? I did it for us. I did it for you and me. I did it for me and you and good times. You don't know me. Oh, we're the same people. You don't even know me. We're the can't make it going that way. The woman lied to you. Going right was a lie. You gotta go back to the cattails and go left. since she was born. Now, come on! No, no. Go ahead. <laughs> I sure hate to think the last thing I'm gonna smell in the whole world is a dog's breath. Come on. Come on, Joker. See those. 
Where are they? Where's who? There's blood here, Leroy. One of them's wounded. Did he shoot one of the men? What man? Run the dogs! Come in here! Let's work! Get him up, man! Get him up! Come on, boy! Got away. Why'd you jump? He was dragging on the chain. Sure gave him a run for it, didn't we, Monroe? I sure did, Joker. Sure did. <laughs> There's a man going round, taking names. There's a man going round taking names And he took my brother's name And he leave my heart in pain There's a man going round taking names There's a man going round taking names there's a man going round taking names. 
And he took my sister's name And he leave my heart in pain There's a man going round there's a man going round taking names, and you know he took my name and leave my heart in pain. There's a man going round taking names. 